Hello and welcome to a bonus video for Let's Play Manhunt. Celebrating with me is Scruffy. Good day, fellow hunters and manhunters and psychopaths. Yeah, psychopaths, <laughs> right? You got everyone covered, I think. Yeah, I That's do what I do. That's literally everyone in the world. I try. So, <laughs> we've completed the main game, all 20 scenes, but we've got bonus scenes. You know... We're skipping the first one. Aw. <laughs> you know, I'll admit... This one's better uh, anyway. I never got this far in the game. I think uh, I played pretty much everything uh, Rockstar did for the PlayStation 2 era. I played on the PlayStation 2, but Manhunt, ah, I just couldn't get into it. I, yeah, I've heard that from a few people who are interested in it because of the whole tone and the story and everything, but yeah. didn't quite click with them on the gameplay front. It wasn't the tone of the story or anything like that. I mean, I can dig it, but um, <laughs> I say that, you know, the I think the best uh, Rockstar game that I played was The Warriors, where they say, can you dig it quite a bit? Yes, indeed. I got the reference. Yeah, I didn't. it wasn't even intentional. It just happened. But uh, <laughs> I think what happened is I got, um, I believe I got up to the scene with the bum, and then, mm. ah, I don't know, I just couldn't stick with the game. It it didn't yeah. drag me in. You can really see where things go off the rails in that specific scene as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, you can do the uh, executions in the middle of a fight? Huh, interesting. Yes, indeed. You can do them accidentally. I've done executions while running during this scene. Well, then, you know, you lose your uh, you lose your melee weapon as well, so that's kind of like a, yeah, that's a double-edged a sword problem. right there. Mm -hmm. I feel like I might have done that execution on accident, in fact. So, uh, important question, do you, uh, I know some of these guys are, like, grabbing the other ones and beating the hell out of them. Do you have that ability? I don't, I don't think so. Yes, we can do grabs. I haven't done them in the main game very much because they're super awkward and I didn't know the correct way to do them, honestly. Yeah, because, I mean, when it comes down to it, this game is, this game is really not built around its hand-to-hand -hand combat. And there's a grab right there. Yeah, mm -hmm. this game's really not built around its hand-to-hand -hand combat, so that's, that's probably understandable. Yeah, it's actually interesting that they designed the game to have such ridiculously awful melee combat. Like a third-person action game, certainly in this era, never did that. Yeah, and I mean, it's not like they can't do it. I mean, we've seen them do it. But yeah. uh, it it feels terrible. Yeah, I don't know it's if, horrible. I don't know if... Maybe it's intentional, you know? Kind of like, uh, kind of like the Thief games, you know? Yeah, you can do combat, but it's, it's really not recommended. It's a bad time. Yeah. I feel like it's at least partially intentional, but I don't think they meant it to be quite this bad. So they, it, they just discovered that it was, and then they sort of tried to phase it out of gameplay entirely. Yeah, pretty much. And I mean, because the game does give you that forced tutorial on it in the first mission. Hey, you're going to have to beat this guy up. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I don't know. There's actually a second one that taught us how to grab, but I never really figured it out anyway. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can tell how much of a part of, that, part of the game that was, because I hardly remember it either. Exactly. But, uh, okay, so they do give you painkillers, because I was going to say, you know, your health is getting awful low there. I don't know if they mm -hmm. brought in the glass shards. You don't know if you got extras. But it seems like when you strike a guy with a glass shard, even if it's just like a glancing blow, it does a good amount of damage. Certainly a lot more than just a barehanded punch. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And every tenth kill, you get a painkiller. Oh, well, that's convenient. Mm-hmm. It's still not generous by any means. And then, of course, you lose everything. Yeah. <laughs> I did that one on purpose because every eighth kill, you get a glass shard. So one more kill and I get it back. Okay, yeah, 16 kills. Yep, that'll do it. Mm -hmm. Now, when you get grabbed, you just got to hammer either X or square. Just hammer them like crazy and you'll break free. But if you don't do it immediately the second the grab starts, you will get hit by the second part of the combo. And you don't want that, because grabs do a ton of damage. Ah, uh, yes. Button mashing. My go-to for fighting games. Yeah. This is why I am so good at Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> the worst thing about performing grabs is that they are done by pressing X and square at the same time, which is awkward. And then they are continued. You get more hits on the combo by button mashing X and square at the same time. Hold on, how did I not get more into this game? I mean, if, it, if button mashing is all it requires, I mean, it's right up my alley. Yeah, you can uh, play this entire game, the entirety of Manhunt, without once performing an execution or firing a gun, as long as you're good at the melee combat. It's a proven fact. Proven? That's a science fact. That's not science fiction. <laughs> 
Now, I wanted you in for this video because this whole melee combat thing provides a very sharp contrast to the Warriors, which you are an expert on. Oh, that is absolutely true. I mean, it's, uh, oh, I, I really don't know how they went from... I think this came out before the Warriors. I'm not sure the exact timeline. Two years previous to the Warriors. Yeah, but, wow, it's... Because I remember, like I said, I, I played a bit of this game, and let me tell you, it was it was not a pleasant experience. <laughs> Maybe it's because I didn't get it at the time, but yeah. uh, oh, it was it was not good. But yeah. to go from this to the Warriors, where you've got this really solid 3D combat, I, oh, I don't know what they yeah, did. Yeah, the Warriors just goes to show that you can do this right and build an entire game around it, or you can do it wrong and barely make a bonus scene out of it. Yeah, you can do it wrong and then make a stealth game out of it. Because yeah. I remember, uh, you know, this would be sort of like they have Rumble Mode. They have the, um, you know, they had all their different uh, special modes for your multiplayer. And this would be one of the things that would appear. And this might be like your uh, survival mode, which I did. Mm -hmm. um, I think I did that with uh, Big Mo against all mm -hmm. the uh, New Bloods Warriors. And I actually won that one, which surprised me because it kind of <laughs> bugged out the game. Uh, yeah, I thought I saw it as a bonus video in your uh, Let's Play. Yeah, it was one of the bonus videos, and once I did the, uh, uh-oh, this ain't good. Yeah, that was bad news. When four guys group up on you, you're dead. Mm, that's no bueno. Still 26, yeah. that's not a bad number, and it seems like it seems like that counts it when uh, when other people kill them as well. Yeah, it certainly does. So basically every any... Every death you get credit for. Any, every death you get credit for, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I suspect it even counts your death <laughs> as one of them. Hmm. Well, I mean, technically, you'd, there was a death in the arena, so it's... Yes, indeed. It's right on your side, right? Too bad there's no way to exploit that. So, quick question. You're skipping over the first game, but what is the first game? The first bonus game? The first bonus game is called Hard as Nails. It's this with a nail gun. Hmm. Yeah. So, well, I mean, that's kind of... Does everyone have a nail gun, or just you have a nail gun? Um, I don't remember. I haven't played it in a while. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone has a nail gun. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Ugh. I will be doing a bonus video for that as well. Yeah, I was going to say, if you had the, uh, if you were the one with the nail gun, I guess that kind of skews things in your favor, doesn't it? Yeah, it certainly would. But, yeah. yeah I, kept, I kept this run in because I performed rather well. All things considered, considering how bad the melee is, I've mastered it to some degree. <laughs> so I'm doing really aggressive and stupid things, and paying for them slightly less than I ought to be. Oh, hey, you for know. example, fighting both members of the gang at the same time. Yeah, absolutely. You know, if you can, uh, if you get crazy, I mean, that's all you got to do, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really. When it comes down to it, isn't that what a fight is? Just seeing which person <laughs> is crazy enough to go to eleven first. Apparently. Yeah. So I mean, manhunts right there. Now, secretly, this fight is not going to end entirely in our favor, <laughs> but they never do. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's kind of the downside of those uh, survival modes is, uh, mm -hmm. well, it's bound to end eventually. Yep. Yep, and I know it's that glass shard spawn, so you want to go ahead and grab uh, grab your kill there and grab the next one. Yep, yep. precisely. So this has, uh, it does have strategery to it. Yeah, definitely. It's rather satisfying, and it's pretty fun. I actually enjoy this once I get used to it, but the first time I ever played it, I was like, what the hell is this? Why would anyone want to do this? Oh, yeah, absolutely, you know, and especially if you come from, um, you know, the hindsight 2020 and all that. It's, yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, it's not so good to come back to this as mm -hmm. far as a, uh, from a gameplay perspective goes, because, I mean, it's not like they don't make games like this anymore. They do. There's yeah. still plenty of games that just have terrible combat in it, as a side note. Yeah. But, um, you know, honestly, Manhunt was never designed around its melee. It really wasn't. Not at all. Yeah. It was designed around, well, you come to this area, and then you just want to sneak up on people. You know, you mm -hmm. want to stay in yeah, the shadows. Yeah, if, if you're in melee combat, you have done something yeah. horribly wrong. If anybody sees you, then you're going to be in trouble because, let's face it, you deserve this. Yep. <laughs> but, There's virtually no way to survive a fight with two enemies at full health. I've done a few here that are two enemies at very low health, which even then is very difficult. Yeah, and you can tell that, uh, you know, and this is easier for you as well, because none of these enemies have weapons. A lot of times the guys you run into in the story, they've got baseball bats or blackjacks or crowbars. 
Oh yeah. So, there's always something working against you. Yep. But yeah, I mean, watching this, watching the entire LP... Uh, ooh, there you go. Kicked right yeah, in Yeah, I got snuck up on by the other skin. Sneaky bastard. Yep. But yeah, you know, watching the game, it's, uh... It's obvious that it wasn't really a prototype for the Warriors, but they decided, well, what if, what if we made it a lot more, you know, actual fight-centric, and we kept in some of the stealth kills, because there are stealth kills on the Warriors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen them. They are quite similar. But uh, there's really not very many, and that's probably intentional. Yeah. Because, you know, they really want to separate and say, hey, we don't want you to sit here and sneak around. You get a you get a point bonus for sneaking around, but it's not the goal of the game. The goal of the game is to get in there and mix it up. Yeah. They did take stealth segments that are almost identical to certain manhunt stealth segments mm -hmm. and put them in the Warriors to great effect for the most part. Yeah, because I, uh, I do remember there being a couple stealth segments, and I remember having a lot of fun with them, so I don't know if it's just a case of they figured out their formula or if they just found out a good way to implement it in this new system. Because, I mean, mm -hmm. the, bit, the only thing they didn't do is you don't have the different levels of executions. Yeah. Which, you know, in a game that's not really focused on executions, you don't want to worry about it that much. True. But, uh, I don't know. I, I enjoyed Manhunt for what it was. I didn't get that far in the game, but I also wasn't very good at the game, so that's probably <laughs> that's probably acceptable. That's probably, the out, that's probably the intended outcome. Yeah. It's weird how much I like Manhunt. Like, it's one of my favorite games ever. When I first found out about Let's Plays, my question to myself was, if I were to do a Let's Play, what would I do? And the answer was Manhunt. This is the first game I ever wanted to Let's Play. You know, maybe the reason I did The Warriors is because when I thought of the, the game that I want to Let's Play, it's God Hand, which is another beat up <laughs> Maybe I'll get to that yeah. one of these days. That'd be nice. I'm looking but, forward uh, to it. Yeah, seriously. And I... Don't really like stealth games. Like, Metal Gear Solid was never huge for me. And the other ones, I don't even remember their names. So, oh, yeah. really, it just boils down to the story and the whole Rockstar aesthetic. Yeah, Rockstar, Rockstar definitely has a certain... They make a certain kind of game. Yep. And it, 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 it maintains itself throughout almost every game I think they've made. I mean, I think they got involved on Grand Theft Auto starting in uh, number three from then onwards. Uh, Rockstar North has made every Grand Theft Auto game. Really? They did one, one and two? two? Huh. Yep. When I think that was, uh... Hmm. For some reason I thought that was a different company. Anyway. It's a different... It, they were called DMA Design at the time. That's so right. So they had a different name, but they were the same guys. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So a different name. Yep. But, uh, you know, at least from Grand Theft Auto 3 onwards, Rockstar games have always had a certain... They've had a certain look to them, a certain feel to them. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, because even in this, I get... I get flashbacks to Grand Theft Auto 3 just walking, just watching Cash run around because oh, yeah. obviously it's the same graphic system. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's going to have a lot of similarities. But uh, even from a gameplay standpoint, watching some of the punches, seeing, uh, you know, the way the guns handle, everything like that, it's very similar to the way Rockstar was making games at the time. Yep. And, you know, it's to an extent, the Warriors was sort of a departure for them because there's no, um, there's no shooting in the Warriors. Yeah. You know, they're shooting in Grand Theft Auto, they're shooting in Manhunt. But the Warriors, it's all hand-to-hand, -hand, you know, aside from the occasional times when you get shot at. Mm -hmm. So, and it's interesting that between this game and the Warriors, um, San Andreas came out. And, and San Andreas had a vastly improved melee combat system. Oh yeah, absolutely. They had different uh, different styles you could do as well. They had yep. uh, You could teach CJ uh, martial arts, you could teach him uh, boxing, a whole bunch of different things. Yep. So, to an extent, that may have been, you know, a prototype for a bunch of the different characters he played in the Warriors. Like, oh, mm -hmm. Cochise controls one way and Ajax controls another. You know? Yeah. You get somebody like, uh, Cochise does a lot more of the uh, blade hands and uh, strike points. Whereas Ajax is just a straight-up boxer. So Yeah, and they, they visibly play different. Like, watching the Let's Play, you can tell that these guys are not the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's absolutely one of the They're things I love is, you know, you've got nine different characters, and they all have different move sets, and man, that's neat. Yeah, definitely. So, coming, I think I played Manhunt first, but it wasn't the game I was looking for. It, it wasn't, yeah. uh, it was the game I deserved, but maybe not the one that I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> 
I only say that because I've had Batman on the brain for a while. Yep. Can hardly blame you. Speaking of, man, I love Batman. Arkham Knight's coming out soon. I'm looking forward to it. Yep, as is everyone else. That thing has all the buzz. Yeah, after uh, after Arkham Origins, hopefully Arkham Knight's going to be quite a trip. <laughs> it's got some ground to make up. Yeah, a little bit. So, um, there are four bonus maps total, I think. Yes. What are the? Uh, you have one that's just like this, but with a nail gun. What are the? Uh, mm-hmm. What are the other two? Well, that should be interesting. Um, one of them is a timed mission that it is believed was supposed to be in the main game, and just they didn't feel like it lived up to their standards. Okay. And um, another one. Oh boy. It's called Monkey See, Monkey Die. Oh boy. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say about it for now. Wow, Monkey See, Monkey Die. That. Oh. That just invites, invites concepts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, you know, overall, I see, I see all the melee combat in this, and it just seems, I, I don't know, this, uh, this strikes me as sort of a, maybe like a proof of concept that never took off. Yeah, I mean, the controls are vastly improved over the Grand Theft Auto games of the era. Yeah, absolutely. But not as much in the melee department. Like, you can backpedal, you can do that in Grand Theft Auto, you can quick turn, you can do all sorts of stuff, but you can't fight for shit. Yeah, because, you know, really the only thing you had over random people in Grand Theft Auto is that you had more health than them. Mm -hmm. And that's not exactly the case here. Here it's more a case of, well, the the bad guys have almost the same health as you. Yeah. And if you're going to be dealing with that, well, trying to take them on in a one-on-one fight fairly, well... A fair fight is yep. no fight that you're going to win. Yeah. Especially because they like to bring numbers against you. Yep. And the way all of your moves in melee are so slow, basically anytime you do a combo, you get hit back for it. Yep. Cause so it's not a... Uh, there's not that much as far as stun time goes. Mm-hmm. So, so there's always a limit to how much you can do. Right, absolutely. I mean... Can you imagine if trying to fight Pigsy and Melee was an option? <laughs> that that would just go poorly all over. Yeah. I mean, even if he didn't have the chainsaw, let's just imagine that. Yeah. They would make him super powerful. Because, I mean, yep. look at the guy. He's he's obviously deranged. He's got his loincloth. The guy wears a pig's mask. <laughs> he's, uh, <laughs> he's not going to be a fun hand-to-hand fight. You know, obviously the game's going to do everything it can to dissuade you from that. Yeah. It would clearly be a bad idea. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And in execution, it's also a very bad idea. Well, there you go. That's why we have this map. Yep. But, you know, I, I can understand having made some uh, having made some videos that I feel like, you know, are kind of janky or not very good. Mm-hmm. I can understand, you know, keeping them around just, just for fun or like a bonus video. And that's what this yeah. is. Precisely. They, they had a working concept, but it just didn't play very well. Yeah. And that's what this is. Now, I'm demonstrating one of the problems, which is that um, executions really don't work the way you would expect them to here. Well, no, like, actually... You get behind a guy, and half the time you don't execute him. Honestly, that's kind of how I'd expect things to work based on the mechanics in the game. I mean, you're given this whole concept of the executions only work when you're when you're striking from the shadows... If there's a big melee, I mean, I'm actually kind of yeah, surprised. Yeah, it really the, screws up the whole mechanic. I'm kind of surprised the executions work at all, honestly. Yeah. Because I, I things have gone crazy, yeah. basically. I wouldn't have expected the executions to work at all, given everything mm-hmm. happening. But I'm more surprised yeah. by is that uh, they've got the AI working well enough to have them fight each other. <laughs> yeah. Which would have been interesting to do in the main game, but oh well, at least they found some use for it. Yeah. And I'm down. That <laughs> uh, happens. Yeah, because yep. I imagine they wouldn't be able to program that reliably to have the enemies fight each other. True. And there's no good place storyline-wise to put them all together. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So that was my best run out of two hours of recording. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, honestly, pretty good. And, um, yeah, it really showed off everything that the world needs to see about Manhunt's melee combat. <laughs> nah. Thank you very much for joining me, Scruffy. No problem. Thank you for having me. And I'll see you for more bonus videos.